Hello, my friends. It is now our eighth day of doing devotions together. It is our second Sunday in Advent, and this is an awesome day for us to be meeting together to do devotions. I need to remind you what our picture is. It's a family kind of hanging out in the snow, but look, they're doing something really important. They are picking out a Christmas tree. That's right. Today, this is our lesson on this side right here. And the question that we have right at the top together is this. I wonder, what does it mean that Jesus is a branch from a stump? Hmm, let's keep going. Stumps. Hmm. They are the part of the tree still in the ground after the tree is cut down. Below the stump are roots. Often a stump looks dead, but sometimes a new branch comes out of a stump. Long ago, God's prophet Isaiah foretold the coming of a savior. He said the savior would be a branch from the stump of Jesse. The words branch and stump are picture language. They mean the new savior king would be born from the family tree of Jesse, a family that no longer had any ruling kings. So it looked dead, right? No, no longer any ruling king. So it looks like that line is dead. But listen to this. The new savior king would bear fruit. That means the new king would do all that God desires. He would not sin. He would be righteous. Now the people had hope. The Savior King would live and rule in a spiritual kingdom. We have hope in Jesus too. He lives and rules in our hearts. He is our Savior King. Oh, this is such a good one, such a good one. Okay, so now today, our Bible verse that we're going to say together, okay, I'm gonna say it one time by myself and then we're gonna say it two times together, okay? It comes from Isaiah 11, verse one. It says this, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. That's a longer one. We'll say it a couple times together though, okay? See how many words you can get. Okay, here we go. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And again, there shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. We have a better idea of what that question at the top meant, right? That question at the top was, I wonder what does it mean that Jesus is a branch from a stump? Now we know, don't we? And I'm gonna remind us this picture that we have right here, this stump right here. And see, there's all these roots down underneath that are still getting nutrients and all of that. So sometimes a stump will grow a branch out of it. Yes, maybe you've seen that just even around your house or in your neighborhood where there's um, branches growing out of the trunk or out of the stump part of a tree that's been cut down. Maybe you've seen that. Okay, let's keep going. It says this, it says, do it. Um, take a picture of a stump, print it, and draw a new branch growing out of it. Oh, friends, when you do this, will you send me the pictures of your drawings? Oh, I'd love to see them. I'd love that so much. Um, now let's go to our advent calendar. I'm flipping to the back of our book. Let's take a look at where we have been. Oh, yes, remember creation. Oh, and then the fall, yep. And then a promise that Abraham's descendants would be as many as the stars in the sky. And then, oh, that's right, that little bitty baby. Oh boy, oh boy. And then, oh, let's open up five. That one got a little stuck, right? Oh, that's right, a wreath. God's love never ends. His forgiveness never ends. His, his saving us never ends, right? No, no. And that's what that is to remind us of. A wreath is round, just like the promises of God have no beginning and no end. A wreath has no beginning and no end. Oh, cool. Okay, now six. That was a present, right? And that was reminding us that Jesus is the best gift. That's right. And we have the gift of forgiveness. Oh, and then a tree. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that was such a neat one yesterday. And then today, of course, we knew it would be a stump with a branch growing out of it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now let's listen to what our prayer prompt will be, okay? 
So after this video ends, this is what we'll get to pray about, okay? It says this, it says, thank Jesus for ruling, like a king rules, right? Thank Jesus for ruling in your heart and in your mind. Oh, that's a great one. So that's what we get to pray about after this video ends. I love you so much, my friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.